Hello everyone and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your subscriptions. Okay, so today, ladies and gentlemen, I like to focus on Aries teens. And parents of Aries teens, the reason why I decided to do these types of readings is because, as many of you know, we certainly do have a very, very, very bad epidemic with drug violence, okay? So I thought that maybe, perhaps, if I were to do a reading, it could engage you more so in your teen's life because, let's face it, most of the gun violence that we are seeing or witnessing these days are perpetrated by these teens here. And more than likely is due to the fact that there is no guidance within the home here. So within that, with that said, I've decided, as I've indicated, to do this reading to just give you a sense, parents, of what your child is doing and also for you Aries viewers, okay, you young teens out there. If you are viewing this, please heed the advice, okay? Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, that this reading simply will not and may not resonate with each and every one of you out there. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the information that you're seeking so that you can make your best informed educational choices here. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to use my tarot for kids deck in order to illustrate your reading and also to share with you what I'm seeing as the overarching theme pervading your reading, and this reading is for the entire school term until 2024. In this reading, I'm going to not only share with you what I'm seeing as the overarching theme, but I'm also going to share with you what I see that you Aries teens may have already experienced in the past, where you are now, what might be hidden in your situation, and then I'm going to provide you with some practical advice and in closing I'll share with you or um, I would like to share with you a probable outcome should you continue on the path that you're presently on. Understand Aries that no writ reading is written in stone so if I share something with you that seems a bit troubling if it has yet to occur keep in mind you are the captain of your own ship and you can change things and change things to your advantage. All right. So enough said. Let's go on and just shuffle up here and I'm going to go on and ask spirit. Spirit, what is the overarching theme pervading Aries's reading for the school term here? What message would you like for me to share with Aries in regards to that situation here? Okay, so I'm going to shuffle up a bit more here. And then I'm going to select a card here just to represent your overarching thing. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, you have justice. All right. So what I'm seeing here with justice, Libra, I mean, I'm sorry, with Aries is that justice here certainly refers to a Libra, okay? And this card, ladies and gentlemen, is all about seeking truth and accuracy, okay? So, Spirit is saying for you, particularly during this for this school term, try to be a bit more impartial and fair to yourself, okay? Because I'm seeing some type of major examination that's going to crop up for many of you. Or you might be worried about taking one. And having justice here, ladies and gentlemen, it certainly guarantees you're going to be graded fairly. And some of you might be involved in some type of um, legal type problem or issue. Or you might even be considering a degree for those of you who are older or a career in law here that I'm getting. 
okay? I would feel that some of you might even decide to join a debate team. So whatever it is that you do, this justice card is, is really urging you, ladies and gentlemen, to take more accountability for results, okay? Because also with this card, it brings about success. It shows, ladies and gentlemen, that you are, in fact, you're going to achieve success this year that I'm seeing here. Okay, so this is a, a very, very good card here to see, particularly in your readings here. So why don't we go on and just select another card here, ladies and gentlemen, just to get some indication of how your past might have gone or might have been with respect to the questions the question that we asked. So we have the tower. Wow. So we see right off the bat that something very, very, very shocking happened to many of you last year. I'm kind of getting. And with the tower, you know, it it brings about a lot of things that really make you feel a bit uncertain. Okay. So I feel that some of you may have ended a situation, perhaps. It, it could be a situation, a situation, um, ladies and gentlemen, that really no longer served you. It could even be you ended going to a certain school or just, you know, taking certain classes or end a relationship, okay? Um, whatever it was, I feel that that situation for you, since we're talking about school, it was very responsible. The setting, I feel, it was very restrictive, okay? And you decided to move in a different direction, I'm feeling, in all aspects of your life. And it looks like it's due to a lot of boredom that you may have had. I also feel, too, that last year you may have shocked people by constantly, you know, even changing um, your appearance here that I'm also seeing, too, as well. That's also something that... That seems to have been a factor here, too. Although it's not that important, but it is showing up here in your reading. Okay. So let's go on and just move fast forward to just give you a sense, ladies and gentlemen, of where you are now. This is a very good card here. You have the Fool card. So that's air energy. Okay. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, so it shows here that you guys are willing to embrace new opportunities, you know. You're willing, ladies and gentlemen, to take a risk unlike what you may have done before here, okay. And because this card is all about potential opportunity and adventure, it seems that a lot of you, you're going to be very, very interested in new subjects. Even a new romance I'm seeing coming towards you, which who could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. This card is telling you to pick up the gauntlet, you know, take a risk, embrace the new, okay? Be courageous this year, Gemini, which is what this reading is. It's really kind of, you know, really telling you here, Okay. Now let's go on and select the card, Gemini, just to see what factors might be hidden in your situation that, that you may not be aware of at this moment here. We have balance, all right? So with having balance, ladies and gentlemen, that's a card represented in a tarot named Temperance. So when it comes to what's hidden here, it says that you know, spirit is saying that you really need to, to take a, a moderate type approach to your studies here. And I'm seeing a lot of you developing an interest in reading and writing. Okay. I also see people really desiring what you have or either um, how you look. This is going to be a very, very exciting a very exciting year for you guys here, but you're going to have to stay focused, which I'm sure many of you uh, will do that. And understand that just because death has come amongst you, 
you know, not a physical death, but in terms of change, you're going to be embarking towards a new plateau of experiences here that I'm getting, all right? Keep in mind, Aries, if this reading is resonating, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with others to whom you think might benefit, and be sure to press that subscription button. So let's go on and give you some practical advice. You have the Moon Queen, okay? This is the same as the High Priestess, okay? And so, with having that card, Spirit is asking you to trust your intuition, don't second guess yourselves, Aries. Keep your projects a secret for right now, at least. I see that your psychic gifts are going to be heightened, so please do not second guess yourself, okay? You might not also need to consider staying away from a toxic relationship and to continue to follow your dreams. Even if you are still unsure of how things are going to really work out here because you're young, don't rule out any possibilities here. Embracing the new is going to really get you to where you would like to be. I'm also getting a uh, spirit is telling me to tell you to avoid gossiping and being, you know, a bit too forceful or even in fact tactless, you know, when it comes to others here. Okay. Now let's go on and look at what your probable outcome might be. Should you continue on as you are? Okay. I'm going to go on and select two cards here. Wow, you have the Will of Fortune. That's a very fortunate card. And you have the Best Friend card. That's also very fortunate here. So, of course, with that Will of Fortune, we many of you know already that that card is all about luck. Okay? It's all about success, fate. It's a precursor, Aries, of good fortune. So... As an outcome, this card certainly shows that it's gonna this will of fortune gives you a chance to hop on a will again. It gives you a second chance to prove yourself. It shows that by next year, you're gonna be in, in a position of power in a better position here. I'm kind of getting. And this card wants you, I can't continue to, to stress it any further than what I have already to. Embrace the change that's needed. Prepare new for the unexpected and the and it's un, for the expected and the unexpected. Aries, you need to find a way to try to adapt to this change so that you won't feel disoriented. I'm getting this year. Try to it's all about embracing new things, embrace new subjects, new friends, and new opportunities. Okay. And so, you also have here this best friend card there, okay? So, by having that, that, this is a very compelling card. It tells you that you're going to definitely meet a new love interest. And it's more than likely, you see the symbolism here, it's going to be somebody from a different culture or a different background here. And I feel that you're also going to gain a keen interest in two different subjects here. Okay, you're going to feel good about how you how you look. Your self-esteem is going to um, improve greatly. So Aries, this seems like it's going to be a promising year for you guys. Once again, when one door closes, another one opens, Aries. You're going to do just fine. Thanks again for um, viewing this. Please be sure to give this reading a big thumbs up. Share it with others to whom you think might benefit.